Hi, I'm Jake. So I'm going to just jump right out of the gate with it. And today I want to talk about my favorite Bible. So for those of you who follow me, you might already know, but my favorite Bible is the Crossway ESV Omega. This flagship Bible is a thin line that has just about everything that I want for an everyday carry Bible and uh, well, nothing really else. I'm kidding. This Bible has a lot going for it. So let me throw the caveat out there. This is the Chinese printed version. The Netherlands printed version uh, is going to be nicer. However, they're way more expensive as they're rare and they're uh, well, not so much out of print. They're printed in China now. But this Chinese version has a lot going for it. Is it perfect? No. But it is exactly what I want in an everyday carry Bible with a few added things that just for the icing on the cake. So first off, this is a black goat skin cover. The goat skin uh, cover does have a small yap around the edges that will protect the pages. Uh, it is not very large, but uh, it's, it's definitely there. It does have the art gilt. If you look at it in certain angles, it'll be red. Then the other angles, that it will be gold. It has the raised spine hubs. And I believe this is a 10-point font. My, uh, I believe that's correct. If not, it's very, very close. It has large chapter numbers right here so that you can clearly see where you're at. It is not verse by verse but that means it's uh, going to be having a slimmer profile. It does have the four ribbons, uh, different colors of like earth tones. They're the brown, tan, blackish, and then the slightly darker brown. And uh, it's got your edge lining, the perimeter stitching, the gold gilt line. And this is just a durable, durable Bible. So the ESV is my favorite translation. I just like the way that it flows. I like the fact that it sounds a little bit like Yoda reading the Bible. And uh, it's a, just a modern day translation that I really enjoy. Now, this is a reference Bible. So if, this is, if there was one main drawback to this, it would be the, the references. However, because it's a thin line with uh, relatively decent sized print, the references just have to be small. So that you find them right here in the bottom right hand corners of the pages. They're small and they are out of the way. Honestly, I'm not using the references a ton. This is an everyday carry Bible, so when I carry it, uh, I, I'm using it to you know, read in. in you know, short times, if I have 10, 15 minutes where I'm sitting around doing nothing I want to read, this is what I'm going to read from. The references, while I do prefer double column Bibles with center, center column references, uh, they can get in the way. They can make your Bible a little bit bigger. And, and these are just out of the way. And if I do need to use them, they are there. I don't use them that often. Long story short, this is my favorite Bible for a lot of reasons, but mostly because when I carry it, I know that this goat skin is really durable. It's highly resistant to scratches and, and marks. It's just really tough, yet it's uh, really malleable. Uh, this thing is showing signs of wear. I, I think it's uh, maybe a year or two old, but I carry this an absolute ton. Uh, it goes with me uh, most places that I go, and it's still in fantastic shape. Looks great, feels great, reads great. It's the ESV. This is my favorite Bible. So I'm really interested to, in hearing what is your favorite Bible and why. Now, not your most useful Bible, not your nicest, most expensive Bible, not uh, your, your cheapest value Bible. I want to know what is your favorite Bible. This one is my favorite because I'm able to get so much use out of it. And I just enjoy it. That's why it's my favorite. So thanks for watching. Definitely drop in the comments which Bible that you have is your favorite. If you're seeing this on Facebook, I'd love to see some pictures of your favorite Bible. Thanks for watching and God bless.